McDonald's McFlurry machine saga is finally over. I didn't realize there was a saga. <laughs> I hadn't known too until I heard from a number of our viewers who said, no, this is really a big thing. And apparently it is. Enough so that there's even a website, McBroken.com, that tracks broken McFlurry machines. People are very upset about it. Now, there's a key reason the McFlurry machines often seem to be down when people visit, and that's because the franchisees can't fix them on their own. There is a digital lock on these machines that means only the manufacturer, a company called Taylor, has access to be able to repair them, and well, at least it, uh, so it seems, the company doesn't seem to do that in a very timely fashion, so many people who go in looking for a McFlurry are often disappointed, but I am here to tell you, those days are finally over. A copyright exemption took effect today that now allows franchisees to get around the digital lock and apparently to do repairs on the McFlurry machines on their own. This is an exemption that had been sought by consumer advocates who had been responding to what they said was the vast scope of complaints about these machines and that something needed to be done and hence a court issued that narrow copyright exemption that does allow people to at least do modest repairs on the machines to get them up and running again and not have to sit around waiting for Taylor to get off its you know what and come in and fix the darn things. As of today, neither McDonald's nor Taylor has commented on this. Mm. Well, at least we're glad to know that now you can order a quarter pounder and a McFlurry and you'll and, get it. And not go to the hospital. And not 